Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan and Sierra. As you can tell by the title, today we're trying Icelandic candies. We went to Iceland a long time ago, actually. It was like in September, but um, we've been meaning to do this video. We just haven't had a good chance to do it. So here we are. We have only a couple candies that we got, but we actually have looked at it almost every day since we've been back and wanted to try it, but we wanted to film a video of our reaction trying it. With that being said, let's get into trying the candy. Yes. Okay, so first we're gonna be trying this. It's called Star. Yes, yeah, Star. Yeah. Smells like chocolate. Oh, so this is what it looks like. I wasn't expecting this. I thought it'd be like cookies or something. I don't know what I expected actually. Oh. oh it's like wafer. Oh. Is it good before I try it? Mm-hmm. It's really light and it doesn't have like a ton of flavor. No, it's really good. It's really light. You know those sugar-free wafers with a little bit of icing? It's like that just covered in chocolate. Mm -hmm. The inside is like, kind of hard to tell because we took a bite, but the inside is hollow. So it's like a big hollow tube with yeah. like a little bit of marshmallow wafer and then chocolate. I'm a fan. Yeah. We're gonna rate everything out of five puffins. I mean, I give that 4.5 puffins. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. 4.5. It's not like my all-time favorite thing, but it's good. It's like a good little snack. Yeah. Like, we're gonna leave that up because I'm gonna get back to that <laughs> later. Moving on. So here we've got Sambo Kulu Soup. I don't really know what this is. It's chocolate covered something. I think that it's probably like no cheating. <laughs> almonds. I think it's chocolate covered almonds. They are kind of big, so I guess they would be almonds. I thought when we got these that they'd be like chocolate covered raisins or something. Just because yeah. it was purple. I don't know. Let's find out. Hmm. Oh. I think it's chocolate covered black licorice. Is it black licorice? <laughs> it is. Uh. <laughs> so this gets zero puffins for me. This isn't supposed to be offensive to anyone. If you're in Iceland, you're like, this is my favorite candy that's great. I hate black licorice. Yeah, but also you should have let us know ahead of time. Uh, licorice and chocolate? Go I gotta uh -huh. put it out. Okay, uh -huh. but... I mean, it's not that bad. It's not good. It's not good, but it's not that bad. Do you want another one? No. But like the right flavor the of licorice and chocolate, and it's a little bit salty. Well, yeah, it is. It's because I don't even know why. <laughs> All of those flavors together just are not good. I'm sorry. I don't yeah, like I wasn't a fan of that actually. Okay, we gotta move on. Okay. The next thing we're gonna be trying is this Tyrkis Pepper. Now, we already know that it's gonna be hot and sour, but we got these because I feel like hot and sour is a very weird combination that mm -hmm. we don't have in America. Oh, they're also melted together, I think. Oh yeah, I think some of them got a little bit melted, so we're gonna have to eat around that. I don't know, you can like see something inside of it. I think there's just um, gonna be a piece of pepper inside. No. That's too hot to handle. Oh, uh, maybe. I'm kind of scared. Cheers. Wait, you had a blue one? Yeah. Oh. Might have pepper on it. Oh, what the heck? Might have like stuff on the outside that I think was from one that bursted and that tastes so bad. At first it does taste like a warhead kind of, right? Oh, I, this, it doesn't taste like something you should eat. You haven't I, even gotten the inside of it yet. Mine is actually really good right now, but I'm thinking about biting it to get the inside. Yeah, bite it. Let's bite it. <laughs> oh, wow. Ah, uh, uh, uh. Ah. So this is going to the trash pile with the licorice. I would have to say that I would give the licorice candies a one out of five now and I would give those a zero out of five. There's not one thing about that that was enjoyable. Yeah, like you said, it's one of those things like you feel like you shouldn't really be eating that. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. Moving on. The next thing we're gonna try are these Lacris by Sambo Iceland. See, this is Sambo. Oh, so maybe that's just the brand. Again, it looks like maybe there's chocolate or... Mm, oh no, it could be licorice <laughs> again. I think it might be. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> we'll just try them. It smells like chocolate. It smells like licorice. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. You no, smell it. I don't. This is what it looks like. Cheers. Cheers. Are you biting it or are you just gonna- I'm gonna try to bite it. I'm no. just gonna put it back. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell. Why are they all like a salty taste? It's not licorice though, right? Mm -hmm. It's licorice, I mm -hmm. think. With licorice pieces. Ugh. The two licorice candies, the chocolate's good, but it's like they roll the licorice in like salt first. Yeah. It, it makes it weird. Yeah, I don't like it. All right, our last item is this uh, Icelandic chocolate. I'm excited about this. It's got a waterfall on the front. Mm-hmm. 
little chocolate pieces. I think it's gonna be good. The only thing about this chocolate is we did buy it in the airport on the way home, so I don't think it's very like authentic or anything. The so good news is I don't think there's any licorice in this. Yeah, I hope. There Could can't you be. <laughs> Some thick chocolate. I'm excited about this one. It should be good. I hope it's good. Mmm. <laughs> it's got a good bite to it. <laughs> Literally. It just tastes like standard chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'd eat it again. It tastes like fancy chocolate, like expensive chocolate. Really? Mm -hmm. Like this would make an amazing hot chocolate, I think. To me, I don't think it's. it tastes very fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of tastes like Easter egg candy. Like it, dark chocolate's supposed to be bitter. This isn't very bitter. It tastes like sugar. It does, yeah. But I don't think it's very fancy. How many puffins? I'd probably give it like a 3.5. I don't think I'd ever be like, oh, you know what? I really want that Icelandic four. chocolate. I give it four. So should we rank them? Number one, best one that we tried was obviously Star. Yeah. Oh my God, they're drawing it everywhere. And then the Air Force chocolate. And then I would honestly have to go these, mm -hmm. and then these, and then these were really bad. So they have some ingredients uh, in English on the back. I'm gonna read some of these. It says pepper fruit candies. Ingredients, sugar, glucose syrup, licorice extract, ammonium chloride, which sounds really bad. Salt. What? Oh, Finland. Oh, Finland. But yeah, the ammonium chloride, I think is what I tasted. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was somewhat enjoyable. If you have been to Iceland or you have any Iceland candies that you like, let us know and next time we go, we'll be sure to get them. If there's another place that you think has really good candy that you think we should try, let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not. And uh, I guess you could follow us on Instagram if you wanted to. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, if you want to. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. Bye.